Okay, so by popular demand, GoPro Hero 5, vlogging setup, Mark 1. So, let's check this out. So let's start by preparing the cage. Make sure you have one that has an opening on the side like this. There's other GoPro Hero 5 cages out there that look pretty much the same from the front, but they have a different opening on the side. This one is no good. This is right. Now there's another problem with this cage, because if you put like this quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter in, which is about the most standardized part you can imagine, unfortunately, you can feel it in here. Same thing up here. Your GoPro is gonna have a dent like this. That's really uncool, so we're gonna have to to do something about it and as a spacer you can use these little rubber plates that come with the mini ball heads you will have to get anyway and get this out so two of those will do just fine now if you apply them like this and screw them into the cage you can tighten it really securely but still the end of the screw won't show up inside the cage next part is a quarter inch female to quarter inch female spacer put this in here really screw it in let's prepare the audio adapter and what we'll need to prepare it are two pieces of 3m dual lock right about this size one of them needs to be cut in half with the cut moving along with the pattern like this and the other piece will need to be cut vertical to the pattern like this now we have two pieces that are cut vertically and two pieces that are cut horizontally always take one horizontal and one vertical piece and apply them to each other it should look like this remove the back cover and place the first one right here remove the second back cover and now place the audio adapter onto the cage and the 3m dual lock like this. So this is what it needs to look like. So let's proceed removing this back cover. Now place it onto the audio adapter right here. And the second one just serves as a spacer to breach the gap between the audio adapter and this spacer. So when you put your quick release plate or whatever kind of plate you're using onto the big spacer, it locks this whole contraption in place. Now you could also remove this back cover and essentially tape it to your quick release plate, but it's not necessary. But before you can put the Hero 5 in, you need to remove this door. So slide it open and gently pull at about 45 degree angle. Make sure to not misplace it because the part is tiny. Fasten this screw to lock it in place. Then put the USB Type-C audio adapter into the GoPro connector. Now let's build the attachment for the mic. So again we're gonna need a quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter and two rubber spacers. So in total you're gonna need four mini ball heads. Now this goes up here. Mini ball head number one. Mini ball head number two. Little cold shoe adapter. Screw this in completely. And now what we'll need is a cable tie like this because this fits the cold shoe mount perfectly. Then we're gonna need a 3.5 millimeter 3-pole male to a 3.5 millimeter 3-pole female adapter cable. The circumference of the end part of this adapter cable doesn't fit this cable tie, so you're gonna have to apply like a couple of layers of tape. Then just slide it in and secure it. Now the mic we're gonna be using is this tiny Etuteach ETM008 mini directional microphone. It's super tiny, but it'll give you great quality. We're gonna apply a little foam wind muff and the Etuteach micro dead cat. So it looks like this. Then this is applied to the end of the adapter cable. Plug it in right here. And now we got high quality external directional wind protected audio to vlog with on our GoPro Hero 5. Now this is what you get from the GoPro Hero 5 internal audio. You kind of gather a surround profile instead of focusing in on your voice. On top of that, and that's kind of due to the setup because I'm using a cage here, you cannot apply wind protection. So you're gonna run into massive problems using this thing outside in a windy situation because of wind distortion. Now this is what you get from the GoPro Hero 5 using the Agiteach ETM008 mini directional microphone. It does a far better job in picking up your voice, making it louder, clearer and fuller. Also, it's going to do much better in focusing in on it and to some degree only, of course, excluding surround sounds. This time, you can apply a micro foam wind muff and a micro deck cat to help in windy situations. Now the last thing we have to take care of is the selfie screen. Quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter. This time we can screw it in without any problems because this time the walls of the cage are thick enough. Mini wall head. And this is a Cliff quick release smartphone holder. I'm using this iPhone 5S, but anything that'll run the GoPro app is fine. And now you can use your iPhone or your Android smartphone as a selfie screen for the GoPro. Now there is some lag to the app. You can definitely see it. But to frame yourself or your shots, 
that's not a problem. And since the phone is mounted to the GoPro via this mini ball head, it is a very, very versatile external monitor slash remote control. So there you have it. My GoPro Hero 5 vlogging setup Mark 1. You got the selfie screen with the remote control capability. You got high quality external directional wind protected audio that doesn't show up on screen and that is easily reversible so you can narrate scenes from behind the camera. And you got a nice and neat way to install the audio adapter so it doesn't dangle around and bother you while filming. Also, and this is kind of the cool thing about this audio adapter although it is very pricey if you like talking head videos via a usb type c to usb cable you can now run your gopro off the grid or a power bank just plug it in and as you can see it is charging so if you like this video if you found it helpful please make sure to leave a thumbs up it's greatly appreciated any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and i'll try to answer as quickly as possible in any case as always thank you so much for your time thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon